What's up, everybody? My name's Seth, and we're back again for some more comments video. Yes, I know we're not going to end up doing an intro or anything like that. I'm sorry, okay? This entire week, I, I'm honestly surprised that I only had like a handful of videos come out this week. I thought that I had more, but this stupid sickness, man, like what can I say? It just won't go away. So after today, like tomorrow onward, you can expect the normal episodes, you know, Trove every day. I got lots of other side games coming out. Secret to those of you that actually watch this series, Warframe is going to be starting again, but we'll talk about that when I actually end up starting the video. Anyways, though, thank you so much for your patience, everybody. I know it's been pretty crazy. Without further ado, what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to read some comments on last week's comments video. Didn't really get as, many, as much of a turnout with that one, I think, most of all, because I was sick and didn't do a fancy intro or anything. But then on top of it, we're gonna be reading normal YouTube comments maybe the community page it depends uh, and then we'll end up doing some twitch comments so what do you say we just get right into it so first of all at the top of course is Merc with 31 thumbs up on his comment for some weird reason and he says sub to pickle man games on YouTube so we're already like see this is why I mean this is why you don't want to sub to Merc because he just steals content uh, he stole this comment from last week's comments video um, where, where I ended up reading a comment from the week before that comments video about Pickle Man Games. And then, what if no you from Alexander, and then a whole bunch of other weird comments that are just very, very strange. No, seriously, there's like a lot of comments on his comment. Like, this is scary. What if reverse card? Let me tell you guys a joke. Scythe's hairline. What hairline? I don't even have any hair. That's the... So the joke's on you, uh, the deconstructor. You just got wrecked by my lack of hair. Merc, beep, book, uh, book, I am autocorrect is number over 1,000. Show more, show less. Oh. Honk here says, I'm late, let me make a joke. My life. <laughs> No! The responses are genuinely awesome too. Like, Deconstructor makes a reply back saying, Nah, my dude, I have a joke. My hairline. <laughs> so now we, we see a jokeception here that uh, you need to have a really high IQ for. Just somewhere around like 150, you know, it's, it's really easy. That's lizard, uh, like reptilian IQ, by the way. So you guys being human beings only need to have 25 IQ. So it's really, really high intellect. Uh, and then if you look into my soul, then you'll see a joke also. Show more, show less, show more. And then a guy, like these are two different accounts. LOL from Y, and then Y Hi from A Man with the same profile picture. Nice Ali a meme, love you dude. And then somebody else responds and says, thanks. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't be doing the Ali A meme anymore guys. Uh, you know, I'm the type where it's like, I don't like repeating a joke too many times. You're the best YouTuber! Uh, and then the response back, correcting his spelling with your to you are. Still, I do appreciate the positivity, Nate the Ghoul, not Nate the Great. He's Nate the Ghoul, one, two, three, the last ghoul. Let me give you another one. This is, this is a, still a response to Nate's comment here from Deconstructor. Let me give you another one. You're the legend of Zelda skills. Nah, I'm just kidding. I meant your life and your hairline. Ah, Andre Gaming gets it. He says, I have 136 in frog IQ. I'm really smart for a frog. P.S. Merc the father has limitless frog IQ. Usually when that ends up happening, that means that the frog is close to death. Hey, Scythe, are you going to play the mobile version of Maple Story called Maple Story M when it comes out? Sorry to say, I don't really plan to because we've already got Maple Story 2. And I did play Maple Story 1, but it's not something that I'm like entirely 100% like, oh, I, I would love to play this. Like, I never really got that into Maple Story 1. I got to the desert area where you get the pole arm and then I quit. If someone says you are lazy, tell them, no, I am in power saving mode. But he said mod, that autocorrect. Typical, typical lazy person excuse. <laughs> Merc, every time I try Bomber Royale, I get into your game. Every time I give up on my attempt to win, I cry every time. <laughs> what? And Deconstructor again, just like leeching off of everyone. I think he's become some type of a parasite saying, how dare you join the same game as my son? Prediction for the next comments video. Look at this. 
he, th this person, or I guess she, because it's an anime character, th they understand. Th this person understands the world. Like, look at this. Scythe feels better, uh, is the prediction. Feel better, Scythe. Thank you. Namaste. I am still coffee, but I do feel a lot better enough that I can do this. See, I wouldn't have been able to do this last week. Not to mention, I've been able to go back to the gym and stuff. And then two, Merc gets the first comment. Yes. Uh, three, silly, but not, uh, but super funny intro. Oh, um, I don't really have the best intro, but uh, that, that, that prediction was wrong. Rainbow Scythe steals the show and my comment won't get noticed. Well, you got like three out of five, not really that many. If you haven't, play Horizon Zero Dawn on the channel. I did, I got bored of that game real quick. How do you shoot really fast with the Shadow Hunter? And then I like how somebody else responds, and this is hilarious, saying that he boosted his attack speed, then installed a macro for shooting way faster in semi-automatic fire mode. Just kidding, he uses the power of the wigs. It's the Shadow Hunter's class gym ability, dude. Let the alley A meme die. I will, don't worry. Hey Scythe, can you T-pose? That's like from a long time ago, dude. I don't know why. Why is this a thing? You're late, Nom Nom Kirby saying, m mostly because the comments video was like a day late or something. I thought it was an alley A video, but I was disappointed. Oh, I mean, I guess I could play Fortnite on console and be generous, like moderately good at it. And then also just commentate about the stupidest things you've ever heard. Oh, if we go to the left, we'll be able to get behind them. And if we get one more kill, you guys, we're going to have six. There is not a lot to say. I like your spirit and your content. Stay real even if you hit 10 mil subs. I never will. Looking forward to more videos. Have a nice day. Thank you, Lulu. I appreciate that. Merc marks Mark, but Mark marks Merc, and Merc keeps marking Mark. Boo, Mark is mad. You don't know who Quite Shallow is? I just did a quick look. I, I wouldn't recommend Quite Shallow because they're not really like family friendly and stuff, but they're a Warframe channel. That makes sense. How do you get stellar gear? I forgot. You find it as a drop or you forge it up yourself. The intro scared me. I, I understand, okay? I'm not gonna do it. Have you ever gotten a purple name in Trove? Nope, I have not. I have no desire to. Oof, 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 which translates into where is the Roblox noobs? Now I do want I do want to address this, guys, because I know Roblox kind of just came and went on the channel multiple times. Um, most of all, I stopped playing Roblox because, for some weird reason, when I ended up upgrading to Windows 10, I have to play Roblox through the Microsoft Store in order to actually record it properly. For some weird reason, I know it's strange. I don't know why OBS does that. Maybe I should double check and see if it works properly now. Um, but yeah, it, it just kind of lost my interest with it. All we were really doing was Sword Art and Online or Sword Burst Online or whatever it was called, right? Sword Burst 2. Yeah, that's it. Can I notice by Senpoop? Yep. I love Trove. Do you? And why? So I think that this is a good opportunity to kind of mention it just very briefly that I am going to be focusing on making a Trove video that is going to be focusing on talking about the reasons why I'm still playing Trove and the reasons why I like it. Because I think a lot of people misunderstand my criticisms with the game with like, oh, he clearly doesn't like the game. He's just playing it because it's a, the popular channel or game on his YouTube channel and stuff like that. When the real bottom line is I do genuinely enjoy Trove. It's like my favorite game of all time. And that's why I'm still playing it. It's just there are some decisions that have been made recently, uh, especially a lot uh, more recently that I just don't agree with in terms of like the design of the game to try and keep people actually excited about it. It's just been more focusing on trying to make money and rip off players by forcing you to spend money rather than just the usual stuff where it's like good content and something you want to spend money towards. Believe in yourself. Don't care what they say. You hold my heart. Argue for me. Only true fans will understand these lyrics, except argue for me is not the lyrics. Okay, let's just get to the normal comments here because otherwise we are getting pressed on time. Is your hair real or is it fake? It looks fake to me. Yes, it's a, it's a wig. I'm very open about that. How do you craft troves of wonder? I wish we could craft troves of wonder.
Dude, you look so much better without the hair. So I'll address this because it's been a while since we ended up talking about this in a comments video. Uh, the reason why I use the wigs, guys, I'm not trying to like deceive you. I'm not trying to pretend that I have hair or anything like that. Uh, most of all, think of it as like my gimmick. You know, like there's lots of YouTubers out there that have all these weird things going on. Uh, a, a top one that I could recommend is like something marshmallow or something. He's like a top Fortnite guy, right? And he dresses up like a marshmallow and has like a can over his head that looks like a marshmallow. My point being is he's identified himself with a mascot, whereas I like getting my face out there, but I, I feel like the wigs end up drawing a little bit more attention than just seeing some random bald dude in the video, you know? Uh, eventually down the line, I'll probably just end up retiring the wigs and saying screw it. Uh, but for the most part, I like it because I feel like it gives a lot more character to the videos. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Let's move on to the Twitter comments already, guys. Sorry, we're not going to be checking out the community page. There's not really much of a point for that. Uh, but Maple Story 2 coming July 18th. I know I still got to have that video come out later today, or not today, but just later this week. The Forgotten mentioning the beautiful Warframe Fortuna, which... Oh my gosh, you guys, like, you have no idea how hyped I am about that. I, I'm going to definitely start the Warframe series this week, and, and then I'm going to keep playing it until Fortuna is out, because that looked absolutely beautiful. And then I see plays in Pirates of the Caribbean. Please stream Fortnite at least on Tuesday. I'm sorry, I know I haven't played Fortnite in a long time. I, I know every time I end up starting, like, playing Fortnite, I say that I'm going to be playing it for you guys a lot. Um, and then I end up just stopping. I might try that Realm Royale. I know lots of you guys have been asking me to do that. And most of all, the reason why I'm kind of interested in it now is because I saw that A, it doesn't have any building, and B, it actually has classes and class abilities. And that's something that I think would be really, really cool for the whole Battle Royale game mode thing. Okay, and there's lots of other really good Twitter comments, but I am noticing the time here, guys. So we're gonna call it here and just say a big, big thank you to every single one of you. Seriously do appreciate the positivity and support that you guys have been giving me throughout the week especially because this is the first week this is the thing guys this is the first week where I've been sick and I've prioritized getting better you guys are always yelling at me every time I end up getting sick you should take a break and just take it easy and stuff like that and I would always in the past force myself to record videos and have videos out every single day for you guys and this is the first time I've ever done it where I just decided you know what I mean I prioritize sleeping and resting that's why for the past couple days it's just been a couple live streams uh, on Sunday, I didn't even have a video because I, you know, it was just not happening. I was coughing like crazy, but today I'm feeling much better and I really do appreciate the positivity and the support guys. I know I just keep repeating that, but it really does mean a lot to me. And I, you know, as far as YouTube and everything like that is concerned, I personally love doing what I do and I'm very passionate about doing what I do. And in a lot of ways, I get very frustrated if I can't do that, if I can't deliver. Either way, you don't care about any of that. Thank you, namaste, domare, gato. Very much appreciate you watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, sub, and notification bell. And if you want to support me, you can always check the links down below from my merch store. Bum, 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 bum. That shirt and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, as well as links to Gawkbox and Solidarity app, where if you end up using your phone, you can go onto those apps. They're going to tell you, download Angry Birds and play it for five minutes and get $5 that you can contribute to a content creator. That's what those do. They're a very, very good way of actually being able to support me while not having to necessarily spend any of your hard-earned financial gain. Thanks for watching, though, folks. Sign on and stay epic.